the second part of your uh, draw like the starling uh, video so you're going to need your blue or what well, whatever color you did your squares with and you're going to do the smaller squares now so they're much smaller so if you've got a fine nibbed blue I, I, I would suggest you use the fine nib blue rather than the broad tip one. I um, can't find one that's that's a fine nib, so I'm, I'm just going to have to use my broad nib felt tip and just work very, very carefully. Now, the best thing to do with this is to actually go around the edge of the square before you actually colour it in. Just like you did these, just give it a bit of a border and then colour it in. And don't forget, you're kind of going diagonally. So, just make that diagonal line going all the way across the sphere. Like that. So you're going to do that all the way, all the way down. In your blue. So I'm just going to carry on doing that now in the blue. Just really carefully because the, the squares are really small. Okay, so once you've finished uh, your your first colour, so you need to start thinking about what other colour you're going to use. Now, complementary colours work particularly well with optical art, with op art, because they create, they almost create like a vibrating edge when you put two complementary colours next to each other. A complementary colour is a colour that's opposite the colour on the colour wheel. So blue is directly opposite orange on the colour wheel. So I will be using orange because that is the complement of blue. If you have chosen yellow, as your colour that you've been using to colour in. The complement of yellow on the colour wheel is purple. Um, if you have chosen red as your colour, the complement of red is green. So make sure you pick the correct complement to go with your with the colour that you've used because that will that will create the best type of optical art because those colours will really work together to create that, that op art really that, that sends your eyes that sends your eyes funny. So I'm literally got all I'm going to do now, oh I've just seen where I've just missed a bit of the blue here. miss that little bit there. So I'm going to literally, all I'm going to do now is just literally do what I've done before and just fill in all the white squares with the, the orange and then we'll see what kind of effect we get.
Okay, so that's my uh, Victor Vasali uh, op art drawing finished, and you can see what a difference the oranges made. So it's really made made that optical illusion pop pop out of the page, hasn't it? So um, yeah, well done.